a very bright day today. And that's got me thinking. Is this brightness just carrying on from yesterday? If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to say it now in the intro. Please, please make sure you've seen it before heading into this one. As today is a huge one. Season number three, signings to be competitiveness. That's a word, isn't it? It definitely is a word. To go down. As yes, people, welcome back to episode number one of season number three of the Grimsby Town to Glory FIFA 23 career mode here on none other than FIFA 23 itself as I'm not going to say the same thing I just said in the intro, but last episode was a roller coaster. We are here today as if you did enjoy that last episode, I must say. Smash it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers. It would mean the world if we could get there as we do start another season. It's telling us to customise the club. We're going to skip that. No reason for us to do it as there's a huge spoiler coming from me. Three, two, one. Promotion. We got promoted to League One last season. Even though that looks like the League One table, it's not. It's a Champions Trophy. It's pre-season. As we've got a lot to go down today, so I am very much excited. I didn't show you, in fact, the teams that went down and up from last year, as I'm not going to today. We're just going to have a look who's in our division. That's all that matters, as you can see all these teams right here. We've got the likes of Millwall, Sunderland, I'm pretty sure I saw down there. Barnsley, Blackpool, are Sunderland in this? They are, they're right there. Salford, Rotherham. Portsmouth, we're going to see Luke Waterfall again possibly, Peterborough, MK Dons and Lincoln City for a derby. What a season we're going to have, as I do want to see before we check anything, well we'll check the money first, we have a budget of almost 6 million which is very very nice, absolutely love that from the clubs, you can see weekly spend minus 4, weekly budget 111k which is okay as a weekly budget because we're not going to spend it every week as you can see the friendlies here against teams in our division there they're a good set of friendlies as so we start the season with crew away who we of course did have in our division not last season but the season before we've got Sunderland after that might get on to that today very excited if we do Bradford in the cup as I've got to say the objective has to be survival I know I want to get cooking with this career mode we got us promotion which we deserved but Survival, really, as you can see, we've got, I won't say a new look team, but a lot of changes in personnel. We've got a lot of youngsters. We've still got Henderson here. Still got Can and Gleno injured, which is unfortunate, but he will leave Henderson. And we're going to start with something, actually, which is really important. You can see the team right here. want to keep the spine here, but I think a lot of players will be scouted by those teams higher up. And that's something we can't help. But one thing I want to help and want to do straight away is this, Biasper Moon, settle the buy option, 350, what is he actually worth, does it tell us, it doesn't, but I'm going to settle that buy option, and hopefully get this contract right, was pivotal to promotion last year, he's going to want an important role, he'll be playing his former club right here, so we do have quite a decent chunk to spend this season, but saying that, I do want to up the wages on some of his players, as maybe contracts get upped as well. Three years he wants, and he will get. will accept no release clause. That is a very, very nice wage um, financial fee that he's asking for. Clean sheets. If we get 20, he can definitely have that. I'd love it if we got 20 clean sheets. Jasper Moon is permanent. Not spending much money at all, but that is a brilliant one to get in, as we didn't really get any pre-contracts going last season, did we? That's something we did the season before, and of course, then pre-contracts did help us get promoted, as a lot of players departed, I'm pretty sure here. Younger, Curry, Lawson, Clark, Amos, as a Henderson's loan did expire. Unfortunately, don't think we'll get him. And I definitely think signings are crucial for us this year, as we've got a loan offer here for James Goodwin from Bradford. We've swapped over with them this year. We have gone up. They have gone down. I've got no real uh, position that I'm looking for in particular this window. As you can see, I've got a lot of players on this list. And actually, I say that, 
I think I do want to get one in. I think I'm going to go to the top of this list straight away. Jamile Blackman, a goalkeeper is what we need. Yes, he was brilliant. Jamie Jones, well, not brilliant, but it was okay. But he is decreasing. Crockham is as backup. Jamal Blackman, way too good for the last tier of, of course, English Football League. So, I know he's 30-year-old, but I do think he could be a decent signing. But I think it's too much. So, what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to delegate to buy. Not, in fact, go out and buy him straight away as I want to try and get him... Roughly around that margin, see if the scout or the um, assistant manager, whoever's doing it, can work wonders. As I've also looked at this guy, Romney Critchlow was on loan at Bradford, or is in real life right now. I'd love if we could get him in on loan, but they're not willing. As I do understand, wages will be higher. There's a lot of players on this scout list at the moment. As one, he might look the lowest rated, but we do need a backup left wing back in. You can see Walsh is out of position when we had him in the lineup. And Jaheim Headley, experienced with Harrogate Town and Huddersfield, should take a cheap wage and be a decent backup. Of course, Glenno is the starter as he wants important. I mean, Superdam was an important player as well. We'll give him it. I do want a two year contract for him, though. Everyone is wanting higher contracts. All these free agents as well accept that one. Disregard a release clause. Now he's going to take a wage cut. I know we are in a decent division, but Jasper Moon took 1.5. Well, Heedley as well. He will. Maybe a little bit too high for him, but we've got us back up in. That's a good one through the door, as hopefully that Blackman deal could lead to something. I know having a good goalkeeper is key, as this is key as well, getting these young players out on loan. Good win, hopefully, to Bradford. Winterthur in for Austin Kirk. Try get them some valuable minutes as Exeter agreed on. 850. That is close to a million, you know. Which I do think is quite a lot. Can I stall that offer or just keep it the same? I might just keep it there. As I don't know how things are going to go on this goalkeeper front. I haven't really found anybody yet. As we are still stalling on that deal for, the, of course, uh, Jamal Blackman. It is one that I do like the idea of, but... Even though we are up in this division, I want to still be savvy with money. I've said it's too stingy. I mean, I do, of course, get the point, but that's just the way it's going a little bit at the moment. As Drogba United, who had Terry out on loan at them last year, won Oli Batters bit on a permanent. Now, he is 22 year old, although in real life, I think will be a starter for Grimsby at some point and really good. It just has petered out for him in this save. And we've got Kai Bailey coming through the academy, who's a one-team uh, one player. I think he's going to take Batty's position as third goalkeeper. So I'll try and get him out. Dash of money for the club as Bolton first game up. Oh, there we go. There are the things we wanted to see. A lot of scout reports. Not too revealing, I hope, right there as Bolton. We'll play what is our starting lineup at the moment. Of course, he uh, Headley... And Efferty are in. Crockham's back to being the best in goal. As we're going to do a quick sim. Being told about playable highlights, which I'm thinking about. As a 2-2 draw, not bad with the team which will be in our division. Cameron, Charles, William, and Cameron with a brace. As we're getting good bits of business done right here. There is Battersby on his way out, I'm pretty sure. He has joined Drogheda United. I call him Drogba United all the time. All in good fun. As we're on to Portsmouth next. Still needing a bunch of players through the door and before the first game of the season, not just not just um, during the season. As he's got a very decent team managed by the Cowley, or the Cowley brothers. Another 2-2 draw. It's Kamara Cropper scoring. Kamara actually missing a penalty and scoring, in fact. Maguire drew and Sean Ragged, a good player as we're looking in the inbox. An offer for David Drew on loan. We don't play wingers at the moment as Kai Bailey. I think that is an acceptable one for him. 100% want him getting experience. Drew, on the other hand, could be of use to the squad. 60 rated, but then again, I think I'm going to try and go short term for him. Because I think I've found another player on this list that I really do like the look of. Kinda local, came through the ranks at Scunthorpe United. The rivals, the bitter rivals. But then again, he's proved himself at Northampton. He's proved himself slightly at Brentford. Played in the Premier League. Got experience there. Charlie Good, hopefully, could make the good move over to Blundell Park in League One. Now, I think this will be a crucial signing, of course, in the back as he wants a two-year contract. 
Okay, in this game, the defense could be massive. It's all about his wage that he decides to take. As I do think he'll want a higher one. 2.3 is high to me, I would say, but he's seen it as an insult. Goodbye, good. Quite bad, in fact. Fortunate with that, as look at these players on the list. It's even run out of the scouting range of them that have been on the list that long, including Caden Jackson, who we're a big fan of. They've got, yeah, the two brothers beforehand, none of which are willing to relocate, which really annoys me. But Connor Chaplin looks a decent player. Can't really play up front, though. He's an attacking midfielder in this game. Got Lewis Collins. I think Caden Jackson, though. Although injury-prone, I'd love to have him back. And a, a talented and experienced striker. Of course, I do see we've got a youngster called Richards coming through. We've got Dan slash Liam Cox. We've got Cameron scoring the goals. Caden Jackson could join the ranks and be one of those pushing them on. Definitely could learn from him in training the others as he wants a higher wage. I do want to up the wage bill a little bit, but I want to bring him down by a little bit as well. So if he scores 15 goals, he can have that bonus 2.3. There's a striker through the doors, Caden Jackson. And to be fair, I don't think we stopped there. Matthew Pennington on this list. This is one who is always willing to relocate. Of course, he went to Hull out on loan, which is very close by. Another highly rated League One defender, or League One standard defender, being at Shrewsbury. Pretty sure he was at Ipswich. He's been at Leeds before. He's offering a crucial role in this team. Two-year contract. He does accept his wage is going to bother me. Look at that, 4.4. That's not agreeable at all. 3.2, still very high. But I were willing to go there. He's wanting 4.4, which we just cannot offer players. We can't take that step up with the wages too drastically. 4.4 again. I'll look to grow the ones in the team. The demand of some of these players is extraordinary, as I'm a really big fan of this guy, Jack Smith. If we could get him before his price goes to a million, 22-year-old, 63 rated. I think he could be the next Bryn Morris. I'm going to delegate this one as well, so we hopefully could get him for as cheap as possible. I am not spending over a million on this guy. I'll in fact cap it at 900. He should have a low wage, budge, uh, wage bill, of course, as I'm still on the lookout for another central midfielder as well. And I think this guy might fit the bill. Josh Eccles, well-known. Gillingham player Coventry I'm pretty sure it was at I'm not too clued up on this guy but I have heard his name a lot so that can only be good I'm guessing is Coventry born and bred I've just checked as I think he would be a good signing as well wants a crucial role he is younger than Bryn Morris and higher rated can we get him on a two-year contract fine by him fine by me except no release clause now his wage is gonna have to come down a little bit 3k a week I think that's reasonable, and he does as well. So he's definitely the highest paid player at the club right now, but we've got a decent midfielder there in Josh Eccles. That's one I'm extremely happy about. As My frame rate has really, really dropped. I don't know if that's been doing it all video, but that is not a good sign. There we are. Should have fixed that issue. Apologies, folks. I didn't know if it had been like that the whole time. As you can see, Josh Eccles is signed and amongst the bench as we're trying to build his team for the first game of the season now as we are still in this trophy though so we're still going strong good going from us as in fact I'll play him in this last game I'll play Cropper as well why not why not uh, Jackson is up front as well Caden Jackson the two new signings facing off against Plymouth Argyle a very decent team drawn them in the FA Cup in fact as it's a 1-1 draw Reggie Stone and Forson literally forcing them a replay as we've got an offer back here from Shamrock Rovers. It's a lot of money now for Jack Smith. Considering we've just got Eccles, I don't think I'm going to pay a million for a player that isn't going to start. However, would we pay for a goalkeeper that will start? Ryan Alsop, yes, he's another older one, but a vastly more experienced one. He's played the top level with Derby, with Lincoln, the rivals, yes. And who's the team? Wickham, is it? And I'm pretty sure he's been somewhere else in the championship. Is it Cardiff? I think it might be Cardiff. We're going to approach him. Hopefully get him in for our League One season. Would be a very talented keeper. As he's telling us he'll be on a high wage, I'm pretty sure. He should have a few years left. Got an in-game face. Hmm, now we've got to be savvy with this wage that we're going to offer him. Can we offer him 3.5? 
We are up in wages here. 20k signing on bonus. He wants a little bit more, including an appearance of five. No, you're going to start games. You're not getting an appearance fee. 3.6 is a lot. But we're going to have to step it up with some of the wages. We want to stay under 4k still. But we have signed Ryan Alsop. Still trying to get this team ready for crew as Drew has a loan offer agreed. They want a one year, which isn't going to happen. So unfortunately, we will be turning it down and we'll be keeping him here. Because yes, we're sending all the loan players out. Or the young players out on loan, should I say. But we still do need to keep some. Another one we could possibly get through the door is a Doka Goodwin Malief. He was released from Forest Green Rovers. And it looks like we could get him maybe for less than 3,000 a week. And this guy is another solid defender. We play three at the back. We lost Matty Dolan, so we do need more centre-backs through the doors, as we're going to offer him important. Lost Younger as well, and he accepts important. Very good stuff. Can we get him on a two-year? We do. We very much do. 2.3 is not bad at all, you know. With the signing on bonus, 2.3 is good. There we go. Goodwin Malief. I hate to see it, but also love to see it, but a lot of the starters here, of course, start at Grimsby on the save, who play for them in real life, are departing now. We're getting filled up by quite a new squad, which is good. Progression's good three seasons in. Still hard to see as Kai Bailey does go out on loan, and I'm also thinking with the amount of money that we do have, potentially investing in a new scout. We haven't sent these out this season yet. Jeez, I forgot about that. And we can go for a couple higher star. Leo Barker looks perfect. So that will have took the budget down quite a little bit, I would say. As we still want to save money for January. Bailey out. And Anthony Glennon is cleared to come back into the team. Right, okay. I don't know if he'll be fully fit for crew, as we've got to pick the team for crew. But before that, I think I'm going to promote another youngster. Got a very young squad here, which I do really love. James Kirk. Got Austin. Now, James. And I think I'm going to go with if they are under the rating of 60, they definitely get a loan. I feel like, or not definitely, but get loan listed. I think that is a good progression thing for us to go with. So it's talking about captain for the next game and goal stat for Drew. No, want to keep him here with what I've just said. Um, you're going to have to show what it, you've, you've got what it takes. No one asking to be in the team first game, which is quite good. Away from home, and we've definitely got to play it. You can see the squad right here. We probably need three more players. I'd say... I'd say another striker. I do want another striker as we've got two youngsters on the bench now. We've got Dan slash Liam Cox and Richards. Very physical. It does drop Boyd back a little bit. We've been very harsh with Boyd's treatment, which I don't like, but just not grasped his chance to be a starter as the starting team is... Ryan Alsop in goal. We've got Michi Fete still covering for Khan's injury. Jasper Moon. Godwin Malief starts in the middle of the defence with Ma and Headley at left wing back. We've got Harry Clifton, Eccles. Josh Eccles ahead of Morris with Reggie Stone in the attacking midfield position. With Ines Cameron and Caden Jackson starts. You can see the pace he has. 91 pace. Experienced at this level, a few of these players. Hoping it can pull together. Here we are. League One football. And here are the crew parties in the street. It's going to be a big one. First game of the season. Decent stadium. A team we have played before, which hopefully works in our favour. And the crew lined up. They've even got the TFO out. Ignacio Suarez, Luis Billington, Billy Sass Davis, Luke Offord, Rio Adebisi, Connor Thomas, Gary O'Neill, and Holly Sec on one week with Ainley. And Baker Richardson as the sole striker. What test are Alexandra going to give us here? In real life, we beat them 4-0 in the Carabao Cup. So, only good memories of playing Cruz so far. But, got to make sure they continue into the save as Eccles. With a turn right there into Harry Clifton. We've got to keep going with how we finished last season, of course. An amazing promotion story. A couple of new boys in this lineup, which... We'll have to get used to playing for us. Harsh on Jamie Jones, the top clean sheet keeper in League 2. If someone comes in for him, we could possibly seem to part the club. As now Niall Mars got business to deal with in Lopez. It's round the corner. Goodwin Malief has a bit of pace for a defender. That's why I was looking closely at him as we've got to keep up. 
Baker Richards with the cross. That's a brilliant turn in the middle of passes off. Jasper Moon's not marking his man correctly. And Crew Alexandra take the lead. It's Hollisek from the left-hand side. Not a great start to his League One campaign. Survival is the aim. But playing good football is the game. But it's not the game at the start. The game is one we're losing. Railway men take their chance as Goodwin Malief on the ball again. A couple of stepovers, in fact, into Michia Fete here. He's going to switch it into Reggie Stone through that gap onto Harry Clifton. Harry Clifton to squeeze it out wide into Innes Cameron. Reggie Stone tried to get it across the field, but unfortunately could not. Josh Eccles can't do the same as well. What is happening here? I know it's a new division, but we look very panicked, and we've beaten teams just as good as crew. There's a little slip up right there, but it'll go straight through to Walsop, who takes it rather nicely. We'll go down this side a little bit. Josh Eccles through to Harry Clifton, on to Jackson. Here is Caden Jackson, turns into Josh Eccles again. The new number eight over Houlihan. Harsh to see a player I'm a big fan of in real life leave as Michia Fete looking for an angle. We've kept the ball well since conceding, as here's Reggie Stone. Out to Efferty, who can't whip it in. Attacking-wise, nothing to show us. Baker Richardson looking to try and make it two before half-time. It's a league about being clinical, is League One. A good tackle from Jasper Moon, trying to make up for his early mistake. Of course, when he's made permanently. So, come on, no changes made at the break. We're going to trust the boys that did play in the first half. Rather well, apart from the goal and the start, to get something from this. As Cameron trying to put it around the corner into Jackson... Just couldn't get on the end of that. Maybe another striker, like a first-team striker, would be good. Of course, Henderson, higher rated than the two we have now. And we had him in League 2, of course. So, do we need to improve in the attacking options as Josh Eccles running through the park here? Very good run from the highest-paid player right now. Still, fights for it back. We were unlucky not to keep it as a ball across the middle. Harry Clifton with the ball here. The captain, Harry Clifton, passes it out into Headley alongside him. Can we chip that over the top to the crosser? Not worked out as it's definitely time for some subs, I think. We've got the youngster strikers waiting to come on. Two young strikers from the academy against the team that always plays academy players. Also, Maguire Drew not being the greatest in this game as Josh Eccles gets the ball thrown to him. Into Michia Fete. Through the middle. Dan Cox around the side. We've got a man waiting in the middle. Where's the goalkeeper? I'm sorry? They're playing their goalkeeper outfield now, and Baker Richardson. I have never seen that glitch before. That is a weird one. Has it changed back? I'm hoping it has. As we might have a chance to line one up. Yes, it has. Bryn Morris with a shot just off the bench. Goalkeeper back in the net. Very close. The spider goal it is. Now it's through the middle for the striker. Just come up from the bench for them as Headley's missed out on that one. Goodwin coming across to try and block it, and does. Come on, Mariners, we've not got left in this one to try and get something. It's a return ball from Maguire Drew. Caden Jackson's got a little bit of a gap, and he definitely does have pace. Jackson bursting away from Luke Offord. He's got a bit close to the goalkeeper, and too close. What a chance to get us something, but that looks like it might be gone. I think it might be game over, you know. We've got to be very quick in transition if we're going to get another chance as Jasper Moon... Into Bryn Morris, now into Harry Clifton. It's Jackson again onto Liam Slash Dan as he's going to go out wide. Michia Fete, last chance maybe. It's into Jackson, good chest! And he has put it in the bottom corner. Welcome back to Grimsby, Caden Jackson. That is a finish and a half on opening day. The crew players are down and out. As Caden Jackson gets the goal. I will take him off for Richards on the bench. Waiting for his chance. A brilliant goal from the number 13. Not unlucky for all. Let's put the pressure on for the last couple of minutes, shall we? Richards, the number 33. Running after it with some pace. As that's a pass straight into Harry Clifton. Could we steal this late on? Richards here. Dan Cox trying to run around. That's definitely a foul. Or not? I'm pretty sure it was. But the referees let it go. 1-1 one, one on opening day with Crew. We don't take a defeat in our first game in League One, and we just build on that. Happy with that performance. Relatively happy. We're mid-table as Reggie Stone 
I've made him an attacking midfielder again, so I could get the boost. It was a suggestion in the comments. Thank you very much for that. There's Tom Jackson moaning about game time now. A Sunderland, zero points. Is that because they haven't played yet? Or is that a defeat they've took? Don't know, but you might have just seen a player pop up right there. And it is the lone listed guy from Leeds. I just wanted to go straight in for him. It says unwilling to relocate. I've got a feeling we're not getting this guy through the door, but I'm going to go in for it. And I've skipped it because I don't know how to say his name. Darko Giabi from Leeds United, 65 rated, 20 year old. Could we get him on a loan to buy? Does Jesse Marsh want to speak about that? No, he doesn't. A one year loan, not short term. There we go. Happy with that. The wages, I feel like we could split them. But I'm going to try, of course, get off with it a little bit. 45, that is good. Future transfer fee. Okay, so they will let us speak to him, actually. Says he's worth a million. Could we agree on 800k? Don't walk out on me. Waste of time. And I am going to keep on going in terms of the striker scouting, but nothing really coming through the doors as of late. As we're getting scout reports back, I mean... Joe Hardy, no offence to you, mate. You do not look like a striker that's going to get any game time here at League One Grimsby. As more loans in as Coenza. James Kirk. Perfect. Please take him. And I think I might have found a striker. Is he the answer to all our problems? Probably not. But he's transfer listed. He's a bull of a player. Joel Newble. It says he's unwilling to relocate. Which is true, but he is transfer listed and we can't even get him on loan. What is the point? Right, backup option. Kieran Phillips of Huddersfield Town. If we could get him out on loan. Contract too short. What about William Os Ozula? Danish from Sheffield United. Can't get him as well. Honestly, this striker search is really taking its toll on me as Sunderland are next. Elliot Embleton as the captain. The ex-Grimsby Town lad. Oh, not a lad, but he played for us. He is from Sunderland, as it's going to be the same team starting again. Can we get the points here at Bundle Park for the first time? And let's have a look at the Sunderland side. Alex Bass, Lyndon Gooch, Tri Hume, Daniel Ballard, Ajibola Alese with Liam Gibson there. He's actually ex-Newcastle with Jay Matete, ex-Grimsby, Barr, Elliot Embleton, Stewart and Dejaku. Solid Black Cats team. How's it going to go for us right here against them? As Jasper Moon straight away on the ball. We've got to be on the ball ourselves as Josh Eccles with a little bit of a turn in the middle of the park. This is up onto Cameron and that's not a great tackle, you know. Really not. It's a red card, is it? I'm pretty sure I saw it at the, start, at the top of the screen. It doesn't look like a red card. Has it been given us one? It has. Sunderland down to 10. It's Jay Matete against his former club. Who we got relegated with as Harry Clifton trying to just spark one straight off and missing. But this is a chance. Can't believe that as Patrick Roberts has to come on now. Tony Mowbray forced straight into that change to sharpen up the midfield as we're chasing after the ball right here. Ines Cameron just speeding after it as it's through onto Elliot Embleton. Still be a tough game even though we've been gifted a bit of a lifeline. It is Sunderland. Just relegated from the championship as Efferty comes across in the middle. Now across again. This is good football from them. Goodwin Malief with the block. Still not away, but is now onto Reggie Stone. And look at Innes Cameron pointing through that gap where he wants it. Unlucky. Still managed to keep the ball. That's good football. Too wide. Was unfortunate as Michi Fete. There we go. That's into Cameron. That's a brilliant ball. Caden Jackson with the run across. That's what we needed. Just a man with speed as he's going to pull it back into Reggie Stone to fire. And a save from Bass. It looked like maybe a deflection. It didn't look like the keeper was comfortable. We'll whip this in with Reggie Stone near post. No one really. Not a, not a good ball at all. Jasper Moon into the edge. Shot from Harry. As it's Niall Marr chasing the ball right here. A flick behind. This goes out wide into Liam Gibson who passes it straight into Goodwin Malief. Who's going to get running? Look at the centre-back go right here. We've definitely got a quicker team already. As Cameron with that ball over the top for Jackson to run onto. Elise on his back. Caden Jackson has two in two. Back at the Mariners. And it's a brilliant celebration. The first goal in League One scored at Blundell Park. And we lead against the big dog Sunderland. Or should we say cats? The black cats, of course, that is. 
as he is not unlucky. Number 13, Caden Jackson makes it 1-0 town. And I tell you what, it wasn't a half bad finish as it's not finished yet game-wise. 1-0 us. Brilliant stuff so far as Lyndon Gooch around the corner into Barr. And Barr is allowed a bit of space to try and run at us. That's passed across again. Now across again. Need to try and come across. That's a shot. We've gifted them at the start of this second half and not been able to prevent the corner. Ryan Alsop with a very good save as well. The new number one. As this has whipped into the box. Headed away near post. Straight onto Lewis Headley who's left forward. A bit of a weird player to keep up. The wing back. But he's still managed to do something with it. Reggie Stone. Jackson definitely should have that pace. And he's got the men at the other side of the box if he can find them. Harry Clifton definitely kicked his man in the head. Tears Headley again running down this wing. I am impressed just how quick his team's become. It really does make a difference. And I don't like that it does. But it's working as Efferty again swinging a ball in. Running down that wing. And Cameron's coming back because he hasn't got the pace to get forward. Harry Clifton on a turn. Into Josh Eccles. We can whip this back post. We tried it. And Michio Fete running down the line here. Jasper Moon receiving it round the corner into Goodwin Malief. Come on, we've just got to keep going. We haven't made a sub yet as well, but we're playing well as Cameron almost threaded through. As a chip over the top now. We're going to try and get a change going as, hang on, that ball really didn't fall nicely. But still, they haven't managed to do anything with it. And that's a ball straight into the path of Josh Eccles, who surely fouled. We're trying to get Bryn Morris on for Harry, so we've got two defensive ones on, because I think three points here is huge, and I do want to preserve that, even if we go slightly defensive, as here's Caden Jackson again. Yet again, a brilliant display from him, and Michia Fete, who's going to try and turn Gibson, put a brilliant ball in! Headley! I don't know how he's wasted that! Love how high up the field he got, though, to try and make that. That was good work from him. As still, we haven't got the ball. Elliot Embleton... Turning into Stewart. Roberts is robbed of it. Headley again, or Headley. I don't know how you say that. I'm going to have to work on it as Dan Cox around the corner. Reggie Stone not long in the game. Might as well go for one from range. Does not matter. We have beaten 10 men Sunderland. What a result for the Mariners that one is. Two undefeated games in League One here. And his first win against... Possibly the favourites for the league. And I've been talking in the press how much we need to keep Jasper Moon fit. As this has been a jam-packed episode. Not too many signings, but some quality ones. Or in fact, a few. One, two, three, four, five. Five made right there. Yeah, five signings made so far. And counting, I would say. As thank you guys for watching this episode. Number one of season number three. Thank you very, very much. Of course, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really want to hit 8,000, of course. And you guys are the main thing that makes that happen. Of course, it is you guys who are the subscribers. I'd love if we could have 8,000 of you at the channel. As thank you very much. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Like I just said a minute ago. Take care in a bit. Episode 2 tomorrow. And peace.